That right there is my Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan. And that's a large fish. And uh, this is going to be a mukbang video. I just got back from a hike uh, down at the Mississippi River Valley with Kurgan. It's uh, currently raining. And uh, so we're both going to be in the rain while he eats this. I like to feed fish to my dogs frozen. Keeps them from getting all full of uh, fish oil and guts, which uh, is a plus if your dogs live in the house like mine. Nothing wrong with eating bones as long as they're raw. It's cooked bones that are dangerous to dogs. Raw bones are perfectly safe. Kurgan is a three-year-old Blue Bay Shepherd from Southern Breeze Kennels. For those who will ask where the other dogs are, well, they're in the house right now. This video, I'm just filming Kurgan. That's why he's the one out here in the rain with me. Because there will be those who will ask. If you'd like to learn more about how to feed a raw diet, I provided several links from vets and other resources that will tell you everything you need to know. Make sure you look there before asking me any questions. I'm just going to send you back to those links anyways. They're going to be able to explain uh, the answers to those a lot more thoroughly than I can in a brief comment. Besides, I'm just some guy on YouTube. Don't just take my word for this stuff. Do your research. That's why I provided the links. I have been an animal warden for uh, close to two decades. Uh, I've been involved with dogs for over three decades. I've got a lot of experience, but uh, I again always recommend people do their research. I make these videos because I'm pretty passionate about the diet. I've seen through my rescue work breeding work and just as a general dog owner the huge benefits a raw diet provides to those animals that are put on it compared to those on a commercial kibble diet. I highly recommend you check out a documentary on Netflix called Pet Fooled which will really open your eyes at some of the garbage put in this commercial kibble. Even some of the kibble that's passed off is supposed to supposedly being better quality.
No, don't worry. We've been hiking all morning out in the rain, so the rain isn't bothering either of us. We're we're both wet already. As I like to say in my videos, I like to handle and pet my animals when they're eating. It prevents things like food aggression. I've got a series down below on uh, puppy food aggression. And uh, it explains some of the techniques I use. You know, as a former animal warden who used to deal with... Uh, a lot of biting dogs and the victims of those bites. I can tell you that most of those bites can be avoided uh, with a little bit of forethought and training. Most fish before you feed it to dogs or cats should be frozen a minimum of three days. Fish that spawn up rivers like uh, trout and salmon should be uh, frozen a minimum of uh, six to seven days because of the particular kind of parasite that they carry. wet out here. Always something therapeutic about the sound of rain. And a dog chewing on good food. Like a recess peanut butter cup I've combined two great things together in this video. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> For those who will ask, it's Sunday, March 7th. Beautiful rainy day. A little water off the lens there.
Okay, just a touch of thunder in the background there. I don't know if the phone picked that up. So, thunderstorm sushi mukbang. I hope you enjoy. Again, for any of you who have any questions regarding the raw diet, I provided everything you need to know in the description of the video. Make sure you take a look. It's about a two pound fish he's eating right there. Two, two and a half pounds. I feed my dogs a variety of types of fish. Usually whatever I can get good deals on. I avoid salmon and trout just because of the extended time you have to feed the you have to freeze those. Blue Bay Shepherd Kurgan eating about a two and a half pound fish. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. If you liked it a lot, you'll get email notifications when my new videos come out. Bye from me. Bye from my homie, Mr. Kurgan. I hope you enjoyed it. Probably not as much as he did, but uh, I hope you learned a little. Again, look in the video description if you want to learn more. Everything you need to know about the raw diet is there. <laughs> Bye.